as in the days of Noah. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men, which were of old, men of renown. These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man and perfect in his generations, and Noah walked with God. And Noah begat three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Watchers, angelic beings, came to planet Earth and produced giants as offspring. There were hybrids. And God looked upon the Earth, and behold, it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted his way upon the Earth. This is it human stem cells being injected into a pig's embryo. For the first time, scientists are seeing how our cells grow and interact inside an animal. This pig, the first known chimera. You shall not surely die. Don't take the mark. They called his name Esau. When the woman and the first came out red. So the mark of the beast. What it means to be human. The tree. All over like an hairy garment. The Pentagon's deployed the first submarine armed with a low-yield Trident nuclear warhead in a move that anti-nuclear activists say increases the threat of nuclear war. And it produced a hybrid race here on this Earth. It means to be human to make one quiet. This is Reynard Sonaga as he wanted the world Why? to see him. His social media accounts full of grinning photos of a student having fun. Serpent. But Sonaga has many faces, and behind the mask lies the truth. A depraved monster Serpent. said by prosecutors to be one of the most prolific rapists in the world. The Earth also was corrupt before God, and the Earth was filled with violence. We can be as different as we want to be, but you can't kill people. Says who? Well, they say a man who used to live in Colchester has confessed to killing his wife and their three kids and their pet. Says who? The virus is spreading. From father to son. Filled with violence. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Humans have a seemingly unique consciousness. <laughs> what makes us human? Over a human. Humans. You realize there's a government directive stating that there is no such thing as a flying saucer. <laughs> Making vaccines just a little patch you put on your arm. Things that will be incredibly beneficial even in the years when we don't have pandemics. So, uh, the first human to human transmission of coronavirus in the United States has been documented in Illinois now. In 2010, this same entity funded a trial of a malaria and administered the treatment to thousands of infants in Africa. And that the trial resulted in 151 deaths and caused serious adverse effects like paralysis and seizures in over 1,000 children. The DNA. What if that campaign in Chad as well, where unconfirmed reports allege that 50 children who were forcibly meningitis were paralyzed? Of the beast. And what if in India, a large-scale study funded by this entity caused adolescent girls to die after being given injections of the human papilloma virus vaccine. Everything I've said so far is true about the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. And that wealthy man in question, of course, that's Bill Gates. I will put enmity. I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. By thy sword shalt thou live, and by thy sword shalt thou live, and by thy sword shalt thou live. If at first the idea is not absurd, then there's no hope for it. Albert Einstein Saying to them that dwell on the earth, 
that they should make an image to the beast. People of the world, welcome to the giant. The visitor attraction for the 21st century. The exhibition space featuring the giant experience, a glorious celebration of the great men and women of your country, inventors, artists, scientists, celebrities and athletes. The viewing tower. See the city from the shoulders of a giant. The roof garden. New dimensions in retail, gastronomy and special events for diversity of occasions the world's tallest moving sculpture. Its head moves. Its arms move. It speaks and sings. Hi. Pleased to meet you. He had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. A space to celebrate the great and the good. The game changers, the icons of your city and country. Every hour, the giant transforms into an extraordinary person from sports, science, characters, your favorite heroes, and recites poetry and words of wisdom to the crowds below. A digital canvas for artistic creation a creative canvas like no other. A digital art gallery in the sky that displays masterpieces from today and throughout the ages. The giant brings artists together from throughout the world. A beacon for brand celebration. A new, eye-catching platform for businesses to reach customers in a novel and memorable way. A giant opportunity. A business model that delivers world-class experiences and world-class profits. An economic stimulator that enhances tourism job creation, footfall, and commercial activity in the city. Join the Giants movement. The world's largest selfie. An homage to human potential. The world's most awe-inspiring selfie. Visitors are scanned and instantly become a giant an experience to share and remember for a lifetime. There's nothing like it on the planet. Imagine you can be the giant. The giant transforms into a stage and a backdrop for festivals, concerts, performances and special events. Let the party begin. If I have seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. The giant. Awaken the giant in you. Hi, I'm Viola. I'm excited to show you the results of our game-changing research into humanizing AI. Autonomous animation enables digital people like me to take input from the environment and respond in real time.
We've now significantly enhanced my ability to respond emotionally, give great eye contact, and react to my changing environment. This makes for a truly engaging interaction. I was made in the groundbreaking Digital DNA Blender and effortlessly launched using our DDNA Studio with only a few clicks. My identity and personality were crafted by blending features like skin texture and tone, face shape, eye color, voice, language, and of course, hair. Now, in minutes, anyone can create a unique, high-quality digital person that embodies the soul of a brand. And they can do it using the most advanced AI, CGI, and autonomous animation technology in the market today. And now we have some cutting-edge new features that my digital friend Sam will tell you about. Thanks, Viola. After years of research, I'm excited to announce new features in Soul Machine's Human OS that unlock the emerging field of humanized AI. So welcome to the revolutionary next generation of dynamic content awareness and interaction. We've created an immersive world that elevates content and allows people to focus on what's most important. We've supercharged my awareness of the dynamic content around me. By using gestures and gaze direction, I ensure high caliber messaging gets the attention it deserves. Thanks to years of research we're making the leap from facial gestures to fully embodied gestural performance. I'll be able to use my whole body to communicate from head to toe. And all the while I'm serving brand new cinematic cuts that boost focus and direct attention. Best of all, it happens autonomously, in real time, without writing a single line of code. We're proud of how far we've come and excited to bring technology to life. The Bible describes the end times as an age of unique technological capabilities different than any generation that went before it. And these technologies are here. We are going to see artificial intelligence personalities become entities and celebrities in their own right. It's unique to our generation. If my wife divorced me, I would marry one of these. And it's advancements in knowledge and travel. Daniel chapter 12, it says, But you, Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book until the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall increase. And here's how you're going to know that the end times have come. Many people will go to and fro. Travel will increase. This is a good beginning of my plan to dominate the human race. <laughs> Earlier this month, a group headed by Bill Gates Investment Group, Cascade Investment LLC, purchased a large plot of land just outside of Phoenix, Arizona. The land will be used to build Gates' vision of a smart future. According to a statement from Belmont Partners, the real estate developer on the project, the vision for Gates' smart city is one with high-speed digital networks, data centers, new manufacturing technologies and distribution models, autonomous vehicles, and autonomous logistics hubs. Few people live in the area now, Belmont said in a statement, though the projected population of the smart city will be comparable to Tempe, Arizona. A little excerpt here from industrytap.com. Uh, speaking, it's Buckminster Fuller is the one who created the knowledge doubling curve. And he noticed until 1900, human knowledge doubled every century. So up until the year 1900, human knowledge doubled about every 100 years. By the end of World War II, different types of knowledge have different rates of growth. For example, nanotechnology knowledge is doubling every two years and clinical knowledge every 18 months. But on average, human knowledge today is doubling every 13 months. But according to IBM, the building out of the Internet of Things will lead to the doubling of knowledge every 12 hours. So Jesus said, when you see all these things begin to happen, look up and lift up your head. Your redemption is drawing near. The devil is not in control. God is in control. Here's the next good news. Jesus is coming. 